community recovers after an overnight fire destroys a valued community resource. Fire crews spending much of today searching the rubble, making sure no one was still inside the building when the floor and roof collapsed. Jack Springgate joins us now live from Niles and Jack. What have they learned from their search? Yeah, Terry, I spoke with the fire marshal over the phone and he told me that anyone that could have been inside that building when it collapsed have been accounted for. I'm just going to take a quick step out of the way so that you can get some perspective now that all the fire trucks and emergency crews have left just at what we're looking at this structure that was standing uh, late last night when this fire broke out. Uh, the fire marshal also told me that they're confident they've avoided any loss of life in this fire. Now he's still investigating where and how this fire fire started, but he did confirm that no one was hurt, including the firefighters who responded to the scene. The call came in around 315 this morning with crews arriving to flames coming from the basement. Shortly after they got inside, the floor collapsed, forcing them to go on the defensive from the outside of the structure. The Ferry Street Resource Center is completely destroyed, which is one of the only lifelines in town for people experiencing homelessness. The building doubled as a major landmark for black history in this area, as this building started out as a schoolhouse for black children in 1868, when schools were still segregated in Niles that changed in 1870 and it reopened in 1873 as an integrated schoolhouse. It operated as such for at least the next 100 years. Now much of this history is lost to the flames. Through the years the school system and the historical society would bring uh, school children through on field trips and things to look at an old old time schoolhouse. A lot of um, like I said, maps and pictures of classes from back in the early 1900s that are all obviously lost now. And th those, are, those are things that are, you know, a, a, a real shame. And like you heard him say in our last hour, he's received so many supportive messages and phone calls from people and community organizations that want to see the Ferry Street Resource Center get back on its feet, whether that be monetary donations or helping them find a place to operate in the meantime. He says the biggest help that anyone can do, and this goes for any day of the year, not just after a tragedy like this, is to help them get some funding. We'll have information on our website on how you can get to their webpage and donate to the Ferry Street Resource Center, even if it's just a couple of bucks. For now, reporting live in Niles, I'm Jack Springate, 16 News Now. All right, Jack, appreciate the update. Thank you. We'll have